Welcome to BSW's Tech Dive. Tech, tech Dive. The birds, the ship. The show goes technically deep into products you care about. <laughs> the new, the old, the newish. So put on your gear, close up the hatch, and prepare to dive, dive. The birds, the ship. And now, here's John. Welcome to another edition of Tech Dive. I am John Lynch, Director of Business Development for BSW. That's Broadcast Supply Worldwide. Our website is bswusa.com. Our phone number there in the top left corner is 800 426 8434. And we're talking on Tech Dive today with Innovonics, the product, and uh, Ben Barber, the president and uh, CEO of the company, along with Gary Lerman, who is the sales and marketing manager. And one thing I've never actually asked, Ben, and I've been working with you folks since I joined the company uh, back in another century, where did the name Innovonics come from? <laughs> well, thanks for having us uh, on on the tech dive here, John. Um, good question. Uh, back in 1972, Jim Wood founded the company with his business partner, and the originally they wanted the company to be called Novonics, and they went down to the registrar's office in San Jose, California, and uh, found out uh, that there was already a, a Novonics registered as a as a corporation, California corporation. So they, they kind of looked at each other and went, well, let's just add an I in front of it and call it Innovonics, and that's that's how the company started. So it, it you would think that it was maybe innov or being innovative and, you know, electronics, and you combine them to the two together, and it becomes Innovonics. That wasn't the case, but, you know, that's what a lot of people think. So that's okay, too. And it must have worked. You've been around as long as BSW, so that's great. Yes, <laughs> yes. We, uh, we're, we're doing well. Gary? Let's talk processing. We've been talking about in other shows about the Inno Mini series and such, but there are several areas that the company has always focused on for the since the beginning, and processing is one of them. Go ahead. That's right, John. Thanks. Thanks for uh, also from my part. Thanks a lot for having us on this tech dive here. Um, yeah, audio processing is a big part of Innovonics. Uh, we've got several audio processors, starting with a very small Inno Mini. Uh, audio processor, which is a monaural, it's uh, multi-mode, so you can use it for uh, as a backup processor for FM or AM. And then, um, then all the way to the top to our uh, David, David Four, which is a fourth-generation audio processor. That's sort of the top of the line audio processor that we have, very popular in the market and at a really nice price point. Uh, radio engineers seem to like it quite a bit. And, and then we have another uh, line of uh, family, I call them, of audio processors that we launched, uh, you know, two or three years ago, I think it was. It's called the Novia audio processors. And uh, there's, there's three of them. They, we've got an FM audio processor, stereo audio processor, uh, um, an AM, Novia AM audio processor, and then a, a stereo processor that you can use for a lot of different purposes in the, in the, in the recording studio. T you can use it for TV and, and of course, for, for radio. And uh, to get into the, to the technical side of it, I'm going to hand it over to Ben because he knows, he knows this uh, much better than I do. Well, the, the starting out where Gary did, the Inno Mini 223 is a, a small form factor processor. It's a mono processor. Uh, but nowadays, you can do so much more with DSP and the power of DSP, even in a small form factor. Uh, you look at it, and what used to be a one or two rack high unit now is just a third rack uh, because of the DSP processing. But it's great for uh, small stations, for LPFMs, for AM processing. Uh, it's a three-band processor, and it has a, a lot of good features. It sounds really good, and it's, it's very compact, very basic to set up. No, no remote interface, no remote listening or anything like that, but very compact and, and concise for, for uh, small station applications small station applications or backup for any size station because as we all know backups very important in the broadcast world yes how about uh, additional ones one of the things that the uh, david four has always done in the series of the davids it's 
met the broadcaster's need, both in price and performance. And one thing I've always liked about the David Four, it's a Roman numeral. Thank you. <laughs> Are you uh, particular to Roman numerals, John? Well, you, it works, it that works for that big uh, professional uh, football championship game that we're not supposed to use the real name yeah. of. They do it too, so there you're connected. There you go. There you go. But they're they're beyond four. They're up to like what, forty something or fifty? Fifty something, I think nowadays. Yeah, so, but that's <laughs> okay. okay. Up to go. four. But hey, you know that's I'm. You know, it was great that Gary pointed out that yeah, it's the fourth generation, David which has yes. been a very successful line for you. It is. Uh, way back in the day, we came out with the David one, as in David and Goliath. And you can imagine who was Goliath back in the early 90s. And uh, we came out with a processor that was very budget pro priced, and it gave a really smooth and consistent sound. And so we, we launched it as the David one. Well, then people asked for more features and more functions and everything, and so we came out with the David 2, and then we said, oh, we want a three-band processor, so we came out with the David 3. All analog processors until the David 4, and, and originally our goal was just to replace the David 3 analog version with the David 4, putting DSP in it, doing it all digitally, but feature creep got in there and people said oh well can you do this can you do that and we started adding more and more and more and more and yeah the david 4 is is completely a, a firmware based processor so it it can always be updated and we're on uh, revision 3 right now uh, of the david 4 but it's a five band processor sounds really smooth really nice and fits very nice to a lot of broadcasters budgets also yes absolutely Ben, can I add one thing about the David, if you don't mind? Yeah. Um, you know, being the sales and marketing manager, I get to travel around a bit and, you know, speak with uh, radio engineers quite a bit. And it's always gratifying to have a radio engineer come up and say, you know, I've got your David 4, but I've got an I still got a David two that still still works as a great backup processor and it's still working. I can't believe it. You know, it's, it's really gratifying to uh, hear stories like that. Well, one of the things that's obviously good from an engineer standpoint, they understand it. They've had that one before and now I'm just succeeding with a next generation from Minovonics. So there's no learning curve makes it very simple for them. Right. The other processor line, which falls right in the middle uh, between the InnoMini and the David 4, is the Novia series. And uh, Gary speaks Spanish, so he can uh, tell us what Novia means also. Novia means uh, girlfriend. <laughs> Very nice. I like that. So, yeah, we, we thought we'd give it a, a very close, intimate name that... Uh, yeah, you could, you know, this this is a, a processor that's going to work for a long time and, and do a great job. And, of course, that's a hallmark of the products that you produce. They're not around for short term. You know, processor stations are going to have that for many years, and that's by design. And as I always say about certain things like processors and STLs and transmitters specifically, from one who spent over 20 years in radio, it has one job. It's supposed to work. It goes on and stays on, and yours do. So uh, now we talked about Novia. We also talked about David 4 and uh, the David series, but also let's wrap up the rest of the processing side of things. So. Okay, That's well, we haven't mentioned the Justin 808, which is does, it's oh. not exactly a, an audio processor in the traditional sense, but it's a, a time alignment processor that you is a, is a really nice nice product for anyone broadcasting an HD radio. And Ben can talk about how that how that works. <laughs> right. What you uh, years ago at uh, one of the meetings uh, at the NAB show, uh, someone stood up and said, "Somebody needs to make a box that goes in line with your audio and aligns time aligns the FM and the HD." Because uh, especially back in the early days of HD, just people were having a lot of difficulty keeping things aligned, and so the blend was always an issue. And we went, hey, yeah, okay, we could do that. So what you do is you you have your audio and you loop the either the analog FM or the HD audio through the the Justin, and then the Justin can add uh, up to 16 seconds of delay. So it's constantly monitoring the FM and the HD off air, 
and calculating, correlating uh, the time alignment difference, and then slowly adding or subtracting time uh, in one of those two audio paths in order to keep the, the blend always constant. What other function and feature that you do with the Inno Mini specifically is what we call the Rack Pack. And I think you were thinking of me when you put the Rack Pack idea together because, <laughs> hey, even Lynch could just get this installed and put it on right away. Tell us about the Rack Pack. Shall I take this one, Ben? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so the Rack Pack is a concept um, I have a that where you use this um, – uh, an accessory item that we have. It's a 19-inch rack shelf that also comes with blanking panels, and it allows you to uh, mount one Inno Mini, well, from one to three Inno Minis together and a, a, you know, one U 19-inch rack shelf space. Um, so that's the sort of the concept, and it, and it really is uh, allows allows an awful lot of flexibility for radio engineers who are looking for, you know, uh, uh, many different solutions. Uh, every, uh, you know, radio station is a little bit different; they have different needs. So this the rack pack concept allows radio engineers to, you know, customize their their monitoring uh, situation or uh, throw in the, the 223 audio processor if they need a need a processor in there as well. And uh, so you can put three of them together. And another nice feature about this is that with the Inno Mini, they have, uh, when you have an rack pack, you're only going to require one uh, output to, to power all the Inno Minis because it comes with, um, you can use these little, they, they have, we have these little uh, jumper cables that allows you to power up to, I think it's up to six Inno Minis uh, with one uh, power supply. So it gives, you know, it doesn't, it doesn't take up a lot of space. It gives you a lot of flexibility and uh, can throw in an awful lot of solutions in a, in a very small uh, space at a, at a very good price. Yeah, and particularly three solutions in one rack unit. And we know that broadcast engineers never have enough rack space available. So that's a great function that you're able to do that with. Gentlemen, thanks very much for being part of Tech Dive. Ben Barber, the president and CEO and sales manager and marketing manager, Gary Luhrmann from Innovonics. I'm John Lynch. Thanks for joining us. Turn out the light